The guys that are betting on themselves in the Cup Series, um, Matt DiBenedetto, Cup, you know, a year ago or two years ago, quits the 32 car without uh, a plan, mm-hmm. right? Uh, without a sure ride. Gets the 95 deal, and that all works out for him, and he's in the 21 Wood Brothers car for the foreseeable future. Um, Bubba Wallace says that he's done a similar thing, making a choice to to step away from Richard Petty Motorsports and is without a real guarantee. Uh, Corey LaJoy. Just did it. Yeah, just did the same thing. Left the 32 car after a couple years of stacking pennies, as he likes to say, (laughs) with no plan. Um, he's got a little, you know, he's got people supporting him, uh, partners and so forth to, to take to another team or another deal. But usually you don't leave programs without a plan or a, or a, or at least a verbal commitment from somebody else. Mm. Yeah, so you you have, yeah, you do. Yeah, huh? you do. Huh? Yeah, you do. You le- you're saying you do I, leave. Listen, I've, I've been down this road. I know what it does to you mentally and physically. When you hit that point. Driving. You gotta, you gotta leave. Yeah, mm-hmm. like you gotta, you gotta walk away from it. Even though that you don't have a guarantee ride. Absolutely. Absolutely. What if you don't get your guaranteed ride? Doesn't matter. What if you don't get another ride? What if I, you're I, sitting on the sidelines and you and you? Because it's like a out of mind, out of out of out sight, out of, out of mind. mind kind of thing. <clears throat> um, Listen, I, they, I, this sport will forget about you. I don't care. Like in a minute. Yeah, I don't care. I, I, <laughs> I'm you say you. you can say that now. At how old are you? 30? 34. Four? Yeah. Uh, you, you're still pretty young. You can say that, but if you were 24, 20, 28. Listen, I, I went through this. I was ready to walk away. I mean, it just happened that we rode in the back of a truck together and this whole deal happened. Yeah. But, like, I was done. Uh, can, can we just go ahead and say, I mean, are you talking about your cup? Your yeah, cup 100%. Experience cup experience you were ready to, so you had had such a difficult time with – how that went and what your experience was like. Oh, 100%. That you were like, man, I dis- I, I'd rather be doing nothing than this. I despised race cars at that point. Yeah. The That's, only exciting part for me was the fact that I knew I could come here mm-hmm. and I could go for wins in a championship. Yeah. But wait a second. That would then prove his point. that the w- How long between the end of Harry Scott to the beginning of Junior Motorsports did you go without knowing – Without a plan, because he's saying you you would want a plan. Well, my deal was only one week. I got okay. I got notified that I was not going to be back in the the fifty one car, and I rode with Dale the next week at at Darlington, and like we had a conversation about okay junior motorsports and what you know what was happening here, what was going on, and there there I mean there still wasn't there wasn't he didn't say hey you want to sign a contract right here in the back of this truck, but you know at least there was there was a little bit of of hey you know what there are some good opportunities available but here's the challenge that you run into when i went cup racing it was the one of the coolest moments of my career right because that's what everybody wants right everybody wants to go cup racing everybody wants to feel like they have an opportunity to go and and compete our deal was really interesting because what we thought we were getting into um, and even what really Harry Scott thought he was getting into of what we were going to have for equipment and just, um, you know, we made a lot of changes. I mean, that this is the crazy part. So, so Phoenix racing, James Finch had an incredible program mm-hmm. and they did things their way. And, and they had cars that were, you know, they ran really good with the equipment they had. Well, we had some things that we had some alliances and things that when I came in, Okay, so I run a few races. We had some decent finishes, you know, and I finished top 15 in the cup side mm-hmm. a couple of times before the end of the year. And going into the next season, I was excited, right? I mean, you can run top 15 in a, in a lower tier team on a cup side. You're, you're really exceeding, yeah. right? So we made a bunch of changes. We, 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 we used different cars. We had you know, different people. You know, it's just a lot that changed over the winter. And, uh, you know, one of the things that was interesting for me is what we thought we were getting – well, that didn't work out. So then we were kind of left scrambling, and we had to get some cars. And the only cars we could find at the time were were obviously Hendrick cars, but they were older. Yeah, you know, I mean, we were three hundred cars behind on our newest cars. We were five hundred cars behind on some of our short track and, and speedway cars of what you know the the Hendrick guys were running. I mean, five hundred cars. You know, my yeah. my my speedway cars were like five 
503 or 563 or something like that. You know, my, my newest car that we had was like 800, 80, 806 or 807, something like that. Uh, and that came right at the end. Mm. And, uh, you know, we were just, we were just behind the eight ball. We didn't have the resources. You know, we thought we had kind of a, a, a way to have some resources and then that deal went away. And so then you're stuck in a bubble and in, you know, we were in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and I'm going to tell you, this is not a knock on any person that worked at Phoenix Racing or H. Scott Motorsports. Um, every person that worked at those two organizations worked their tails off. I mean, the blood, sweat, and tears that went into it. Um, I look at Johnny Davis now, right? And and Johnny is now what those guys were in their organization. And you want to talk about grinders, oh. somebody that just puts effort and time and and yeah. no, I mean, they spend every penny they got, but, but they don't do it. But they run lean. Yeah. They, they run beyond lean. I mean, l- listen, I work, when I worked with Finch, I mean, he had one pit crew pit two cars and right. during the same race one time. Right. He didn't care. No. He's like, I'm not going to buy another pit crew. I'm going to have the same pit crew. Well, what about if they pit on the same lap? He's like, well, they're not going to. Right. We're going to make sure of that. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it just, it did things for me uh, mentally that. I, I, I don't ever want to get back to that place, yeah. you know? So there's that part, right, with the guys in the Cup Series that are like, hey, I'm pulling the plug on, on what's happening right this minute, and I want to see if, you know, if there's if there's a better deal, I'm going to take it. If there's not, I've, I can't keep doing what I'm doing. No right. way to live, yeah. The um, Then you have the Xfinity guys that you race with every week that don't see their opportunities in the next level. Right. Chase Briscoe, right? He don't. He find he 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 talks about finding out what his responsibilities are for the next season in December and and like at the last minute. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I'm mean, really there was a there was a a real uh, question mark about whether he was even going to run this year, and you know what were they going to do with their organization with Cole moving up? Would they keep him? What would they do? Not have any Xfinity cars, right? Um, Cindric, you know, he says, Hey, just cause my dad works at it, Penske is not a lock for me to be able to go there. And, and obviously there's not any cars open at that team. They could form a fourth car, but they're right. probably not going to do that. Um, he could get wedged into the Wood Brothers deal, but that would send Matty D out, right? Uh, which wouldn't be popular. Um, and so a lot of these guys that and like Noah, right? For example, Noah's looking up going, when's the door going to open for me to somewhere, right? 100%. Um, and and, and the, it's not as open as it. I feel like it used to be. Right. And right? time's running out for all those guys, right? And I think, too, you know, sponsorship. I mean, look, you know, I'm wearing a brand professional agriculture shirt, but but this shirt is a small piece of what really has been an, an incredible relationship for me, right? But But I know... Whether you win one race, no races, or ten races, you know, without their support, I'm not here in this sport. 